apologize. I have to face this way for today. Okay, so you're okay because you can see this circle. Sitting nice and tall, circling through the shoulders. change direction. We will reach the hands forward, take a deep breath, reach back, open the chest. As we exhale, hug yourself to the chest. Side to side. We're thinking of lengthening up while still keeping both hips down. Circle the ankle and foot. Change direction. Shoulders are down, chest is open. And point and flex. Switch sides. Change direction. And point and flex. Hands go down, just gently rock the knees from side to side. Keep your chest open, shoulders down, don't move your shoulders. Slowly warming up the lower back and the hips. Way and we're going to lie down on our back. We're going to take the ball with us. It's the 
going to put the bowl underneath our tailbone. I'm going to hug one knee into the chest, extend the opposite leg out, and we're just lifting and lowering. If you're feeling very wobbly, you put one hand down on the mat to stabilize you. You breathe in as you lift and point, breathe out as you lower and inflict. One more, and then keep on that same leg. Just bend at the knee, and we're going to do a little horizontal circle. Put that hand down as well while you circle. This is where your core really starts firing up. Press the shoulders back and down. Try and press as much of your spine into the mat as you can. Tailbone into the ball. One more and change direction. Two more and then we're going to switch legs. So we're going to start hugging that one in, other one extended. Lifting, lowering, point, inhale as you lift, flex, exhale as you lower. more. Now bend that knee, hand on the floor, on the mat, horizontal circle. It's like you're drawing a circle with your knee on the ceiling. Two more, then change direction. Maybe two more. Good. Let's go into our frog's legs. Glue your heels together, toes open, knees open. Push forward on that diagonal. Pull back and in. Push. Pull that navel in so tightly. Try to melt your whole spine down into the mat. We'll do two more. Then hold the legs out, crisscross at the ankles. Those legs really straight and active, engage your quads, pulling all the way in through the navel. We're going to lower them down a little bit. And then raise them up a little bit. 
sure the chest is open, the shoulders are down. starting point, close the feet, take them into big leg circles going in opposite direction. Here also try to keep that ball really steady. That means your pelvis is steady as well. Or just cross the feet at the ankles, open the knees wide, hold on to your shins, push those legs away, stretching through the hips. Release them, slowly take the ball out. You're going to lie on your back, tabletop. Just put the ball away for now. Open the arms really wide and we're going to take our knees across our body, corner to corner. Shoulders have to stay glued down. Back of the rib cage has to stay glued down. You don't want to roll the whole body across. You don't want your knees touching the floor. One more each side. Holes with the legs in the center. Take a deep breath as you exhale, curl up through the chin and the chest. Reach the hands forward. Yeah, pulse. If you want a little bit more challenge, you extend the legs out. Your eye gaze is always towards your knees. That way it sets your head up in the correct alignment with your spine. If you need to modify, you're going to put your head and shoulders down and only do the arms. Or if you want to do the body, you can keep your legs down to modify. For five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing, hugging it in. Bring the legs back to tabletop. Open the arms wide again. Keep the feet touching. Slowly open one knee at a time. While keeping that alignment, so the back of the hips have to both stay glued onto the mat. You don't want to be rolling from one side to the other. Make sure you're doing your pelvic tilt, navel pulling back to the spine. more each way. Keep them squeezing tightly together, deep breath in. As you exhale, curl up, circle the arms. Shoulders are down, lengthening your spine. 
and one more challenge, the legs are out. If you need to modify, put the legs down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release down. Gently turn your head side to side. Bring those legs back up to tabletop. Open both knees. Point your toes and tap, touch those big toes together. Open arms wide. We're going to slightly twist to the one side and then lower those feet down to the outside of your mat. So you're going very slowly. You are only going to go as far as you can without your lower back popping off. So if you cannot go all the way down, it doesn't matter. And then we go the other way. You've got to keep the back of the hips down. You've got to keep that core engaged. So you're not popping, making a big space. You don't want that. You've got to glue your spine down. Just a very subtle twist from the waist. Take your time, don't rush this. And yes, you do feel a lot of work in the front of the hips. Those are stretching and they're working hard to help stabilize. One more each way. And then place the feet down on the mat. Gonna peel your spine one vertebra at a time off up into the bridge. Feel your pelvic tilt rolling up. Just pause for a second or two when you're at the top. Make sure the rib cage is closed in the front. Navel's pulling up and in. Hips are as high as you can. And then slowly melt down. Starting at the back of the rib cage. Back of the waist touches before your tail touches. A few more of those. You should have no stress in your neck or shoulders. more please and then this next one bring it up and hold it up and bridge your feet closer towards your body and then come up lift your heels up so you're up on the balls of your feet from here we're going to pivot and open the knees and then close the knees and tap open and close knees really tightly tap together open Trying to keep the front of your hips up and parallel. You should feel work in your glutes, in your butt. Open and Two more. Hold it up, just bring them parallel. Walk the feet a little closer. So we're going to extend our one leg up to the ceiling. We're going to take a deep breath. As we exhale, bend that leg, rotate, tuck it underneath. And then reach it up. And yes, you're twisting from your waist. This is a lot of opening through the hips as the glutes work. If 
you need to modify, you can do this without doing the bridge, or you can do it with a flat foot. It is a little bit more challenging with a flat foot to get your foot under, you don't have much space. One more. Release down, switch sides. And feel how different it is from the one side to the other. Always have that. One side's more flexible, one side's stronger. Three more. Release down. Stay up on your toes though. You're gonna do just little glute squeezes to squeeze your butt so tightly, little pulses. Your hips are not bobbing up and down. This is all from your butt and your glutes. Squeeze it. Five. Four. And one, now down very slowly, one little bit of time. And hug your glutes to the chest. We're going to curl up through our chin and chest and we're going to do our single leg extension series. So just very gently tapping inside the one leg outside. You're keeping the chin and chest up the whole time, and you're aiming to do that. If you need to modify, you can put your head down. One more each, then we're going to go into crisscross. Remember, you're working from your waist with those elbows really wide. Don't roll your hips, don't roll your butt. Keep that tailbone anchored in. Arm your waist and your tail. One more each side, then we're going to straight leg. Pulse, pulse, switch. Pulse, pulse. Try to hold either above or below your knee joint, not directly on your knee joint. You need to put your head and shoulders down, you just hold closer to your body. Two more each. Both legs together. Extend arms back and legs forward. Five more. down, hug it in. Gently turn your head side to side. And put the feet down, cross your one knee all the way over the other. And gently rotate and come back center. Just a very gentle rocking twist. This is a little stretch to ease your lower back. Yep. Don't force it.
two more and then we'll cross the other way. Good, well done. Let's get your circle, please. Then you place it between the legs down by your just above your ankles. And then do a big circle here. Yeah. Now you can only go as far as your core strength will allow you without letting those hips lift and roll. Get that tailbone glued down, lower back glued onto the mat. If you need to modify, you're going to bend your knees and you're going to do that little horizontal circle. Change direction. You've got a fairly decent squeeze on the circle. It doesn't fall. more. Good. Bend the legs to tabletop. Got to curl up through the chin and the chest. Reach the hands between the legs and just touch your hands together. Now we're going to rotate to the right. Open your right arm. Take your left arm and tap. And then bring them one at a time up to the center. To the left. Open. Tap. Legs and hips stay steady. You twist from your waist and your rib cage. Keep lifting that chest up as high as you can. Legs are steady. They shouldn't be moving. Squeeze that circle really tightly. One more each way. the center, head and shoulders go down, little pulses squeezing the circle, pulling it tightly, pressing your spine into the mat. And make sure you're doing that hard pelvic tilt. out, hook it under your feet, close your knees, get two deep breaths here before you rock yourself up into sitting. Okay, today for the rocker, we're going to hold the circle between the knees, just above your knees. We're going to raise our feet and we're going to hold on to just below the knees on our calves. We're going to roll back slowly. Slowly come up. And you're going to pause here and you're going to get five squeezes. Remember, you pull from your pelvic floor as you squeeze those inner thighs, everything. And we roll back slowly. And squeeze. You always breathe out as you engage. So yeah, go to your own pace. Put 
don't rush it too much. You really want to give everything a chance to activate. Squeeze, hold a second, release. And remember, it's not just your feet flapping. You have to get these inner thighs. Do two more. Oops. Yeah, you're gonna feel hip flexors. Can you finish that last one? Just take the circle out, crisscross and hinge forward. Holding it in between the palms of your hands. Knees are bent, heels are going to stay on the mat. We're going to melt ourselves back, do a little rotation, pull the circle in towards you, and squeeze really hard. And then release and come on up. Exhale. Melting down one vertebra at a time. Bring it into the chest, bend the elbow, squeeze. It's okay if it even touches your chest and your body. That's how close you want it in. You want to feel those biceps in your chest working. Remember to keep your shoulders pulling down, twisting from your waist. each way. Thanks, Beth. Last one. Good. Melt yourself halfway down. Keep the arms straight and we're just going to raise up and down. Stay back there. Keep pulling in really tightly. So lean back. Yeah, that's Remember to relax the shoulders, keep pulling them down towards the waist. Two more. It's okay if you're shaking here. In fact, it's good. It means things are working. Slowly up, extend, hinge forward. If you're very tight, you can use your circle. String stretch. And slowly come on up. Just hold the circle in the arms, keep your legs extended. You're going to roll down very slowly, one vertebra at a time. If you need to modify and use your ball behind you, go ahead. Others were just going slowly. Keep the circle in line with your face. So don't take it back behind your head. Gently chin to chest, slowly curling up. Looking through that circle. Hinge forward. So if you need to modify, if you cannot do that nice and slowly, you'll put your ball behind you. And then you're slowly going to roll down. When you get to your ball, then you pause, because that's as far as you can go. And then you'll roll up. And you'll just play around with it, moving the ball either out to make it more challenging or in to make it easier. Play around with that. One more, please. Hinge forward and hold it here. Yeah. 
coming on up. Keep flat down on our side. Take your ball with you. The ball is going to go under the lower leg, just under the ankle. This leg is very active, so everything is tight, and the top leg is just directly above. So your body's in a straight line. Not forward. Not your feet, your pelvis. Okay. And we're starting just lifting and lowering. If you need to put something underneath that bottom hip, it's okay. Go ahead, but you have to be directly on. You can't be lying on your butt. So you don't want your belly button up to the ceiling. You want to directly forward. Your elbow is slightly out from your shoulder, so that you can lift your bottom rib cage and waist. If you need support, your hand is on the mat. If you don't, you can extend it out. And if you need to modify, you lie all the way down. Everything's working hard. Right, pause in here. Have a distance between the feet. We're going to bring a one forward and pulse twice to the front. Pulse, pulse. And then take it back. Squeeze through the glute. Pulse, pulse. The ball creates a big challenge because you don't want that to be rolling around and rocking around. It's all about stabilizing the core. So if you find you are rolling too much, keep your head down until your core is stronger to control. One more. Hold the legs in line, we're gonna circle here. So yeah, you should be feeling all the way along. You should be feeling up through the core. Your shoulders should be active, working hard. Three, two, change direction. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. So bring this bottom, bring the ball in, put it under the bottom knee, then both knees. So your feet are staggered. Good. From here, we're going to press down really hard into the ball and release. Press down hard and release. Your foot is touching the mat. You just press me down. Use your core, use it all outside of the bottom leg. Feel how all the pelvic floor muscles have to work hard to do this. The glutes are working. One more. hand on the ball, take it out, just press it down, lift and lift your chest up as high as you can off that mat. Knee on the ball. Now you're pushing down. Okay, squeezing so tight to see that pelvic floor. Have your foot on the floor. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be rocking forward with your body. Keep the chest up, all in the side, pelvic floor. And then finally, in both knees, lifting and lowering the ball. Tiny little lift. 
all into your waist. Make sure your knees are not all the way in front. Once you have them in line with the hips, take them away. Remember to protect your shoulders and keep lifting up to the bottom waist. Then coming up and out of that elbow. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Well done. Alrighty, other way. All the way from the top. So we're starting off with the legs straight. All is underneath the bottom ankle. And we just do our lifting and lowering. Make sure you're on your hips. Straighten this bottom leg. Make sure the quad is active. Engage. Then we're going to circle. Keep the legs in line, top legs in Four more. Change direction. Okay, so the bottom leg, you're going to bend the knee, put the ball underneath that knee. Both knees are bent, feet are just staying at the floor, and you're pushing down and lifting up into the ball. Push. So you're using that bottom hip. First thing, you should feel the glute on the bottom side, pressing in. Under your hand, press down hard into the ball with your hand, stabilize. Lift this bottom knee up. Pulling up and in through the pelvis, through the navel, in the thigh. Bye, right, thank you. on the floor, on your mat, not between your legs, four on the floor, mm -hmm. that other leg back, the top knee, yeah. Now, ball goes between the knees and we're doing little pulses. Make sure the knees are in line with the hips so they're not in front of you. They are back and we lift them. Be 
you need to modify your lie down at this point if your shoulder is giving out. Roll over onto our belly. We don't need the ball. We're just going to bend our arms at our elbows, rest your hands one on top of the other, and glue your forehead onto your hands. And from here, slowly curling up. So just working the upper body now, keep the legs and feet down on the all these muscles along your spine are working hard. Lift the chest. Don't pull from your elbows. Don't even pull your head. Your head is just following, coming last. Five more. To the mat and lift your chest up press those shoulder blades down good and slowly bring one foot up bend your two pulses pulse pulse squeeze it so tight with your butt keep it out straight and then lower it down the other side pulse pulse lengthen pulse, pulse. think of lengthening from the top of your head not arching yourself back here think of lifting and lengthening straight To modify, you may come down and just rest your head on your hand. And to work on your triceps. If you want more challenge, those legs are up the whole time. And from there, do your two pulses and extend. You'll feel a lot more work in your lower back if you have your knees straight. more each way, knees. Last one. Holding here, lift everyone, try the first leg up. Slowly bend one at a time. Out, walk it to the right side. One more each side. The palms down, knees down, push your elbows in close to your wrist page. Slowly push yourself up. Stay here. So you should be on a diagonal. Nice and straight, don't arch your back. And you're going to carry on again. Just do one. Close that arm in front of you. If you need to modify, then you are going to come out of your diagonal and you're going to come into a flat back. And from there, you can just lift and lower your arms. Much easier when you don't have your whole body weight on your back. And if you want more challenge, you up your long back. Two more each side. really wide and sink down.
Let's spread the one arm under and through. The both stay really straight. Stretching through our back and our shoulders. Now let's take the one leg forward and lean back into pigeon. Make sure that your foot is not directly under your groin. You want to have your knee turned out to the side slightly. And then you're going to go forward as far as you can. If you can only be up on your hands. If you have knee problems, you don't want to be leaning on it. If you have knee problems, you want to be on your back doing your figure four stretch. Come up before you switch, just roll onto your butt, reach back and hold that back. Shin, and just do a little quad stretch. Down on your butt. Yeah, that butt. <laughs> Twist up. Good, swing that leg around. 